When you're valuing your company, you have to assume that that company's cash flows are going to go on through infinity. And the reason is, is because you don't know when the company's going to stop operating. You can't guess when it's going to stop operating. For example, if you were valuing Ford Motor Company in, in 1920, well, it, it's 2017, it's still here. So you, you have to be able to value those cash flows in the, pa in the future years. And we do have a, a methodology that is successful in doing this. It's a complicated formula, but it's break, broken down to be very simple. It's called the Gordon Growth Method. And what this does is, when you do a valuation and you have the cash flows for the first five years, let's assume cash flow stabilizes, you need to do the cash flow from year six to the future. And that's where this Gordon Growth calculation comes in. It's simply taking the stabilized cash flow and dividing it by a cap rate. For example, if it was 5%, it would be 2,000. And I know a lot of attorneys, they question me on this. Well, Mr. Bonneville, how can you possibly figure out what the cash flow is 100 years or, or 200 years in, in the future? And I just explained to him that when you take a cash flow out, the farther you take it out, eventually it goes to zero. For example, 2000, if you had $2,000, and you take it out a 100 years, let's say in 100 years I'm going to get $2,000. The present value of that is $15. If you take $2,000 and, and take it out 200 years, like I'm going to get it in 200 years, the present value of that is 12 cents. So what that's saying is if I put 12 cents in the bank and earn 5%, in two years I'm going to have 2,000. And that's why this perpetuity or Gordon growth method works because it realizes that when you go far out with the cash, the value eventually is going to be zero. So therefore, I can estimate what the future cash flows into, the, into infinity because I know it's going to be zero. Anyway, this is a pretty complicated subject, so if you have any questions on this, feel free to email me.